you are close to death. At night, you might see the mourner. Dad? Roshan? Is everything okay? I'm gonna make more soup for you. It always calmed you down when you were a kid. I'm fine. I'm sorry. It's my job to take care of you. Even if you plan to leave me for college soon. This omen is a surefire sign of loss approaching, and can only be seen by the soon-to-be deceased. You need to eat. You know your health is struggling. I'm okay. I feel better. I'm your dad. You'll always be my baby. Though death approaches, all might not be lost. I need you to help me. Please. If you see the mourner, do not lose hope, dear friend. Because if it can, it would much rather see you alive. The mourner comes back. When your death approaches, you might see the mourner. This omen signals the end, but it is unclear how or why. Those who have seen the mourner often become terrified and irrational. Your son has been chronically ill. How could he just leave? I don't know. Why haven't you gone after him? It's really dangerous out there. You know how people are driving. Why are you even up this late? I'm not going to sleep anymore. If an intruder breaks in, I need to be prepared. They often do anything they can to escape death. Alright. You've had your fun. Now you're going to tell me what's going to happen. Three... Two... But sometimes, they let him in themselves. The Mourner and the Old Man When a person is nearing death, the Mourner may appear. And though it frequents old folks' homes and busy roads, it sometimes takes a detour. Guess? Grandpa? I have a shift at the hospital. Are you going to be okay? Of course. You know, Mom died of a brain aneurysm, which means you're at risk. Ugh. Would you mind playing around of... Next time, I promise. Older folks who see the mourner often react calmly. How scary can the inevitable be? I am off to work again. Can't you take tonight off? No. I love you. I love you too. Some older folks reason with the mourner for more time. I wanted to spend more time with my grandchild and to play one last game of chess. Those who react with kindness are often shown a kindness back. Grandpa, I'm home. Guess. Guess. Are you okay? Gassy? Sometimes the mourner isn't there for you. Sometimes it's there for someone else. At least for now. The mourner and the twins. When a person is nearing death, the mourner may appear. And for the past three months, Armand had been living with it. Jahan? Hey, if you could do the dishes, I would really appreciate it. Be sure to call Mom this week. Many who see the mourner become health-obsessed, trying to keep death away. <sighs> on, on, honey, why are you so concerned about your health? I had so many health problems as a kid. Jahan's never even had a cold. How is Jahan? How would I know? He won't even talk to me. That's your brother. Go easy on him. Consistent sightings of the mourner are rare. Jahan! and should be cause for alarm. Because sometimes, the mourner is brought by a person's thoughts. Hey, you're my brother, and I love you no matter what, okay? Okay. 
I am always here for you. Slowly but surely, the mourner disappeared from their lives for good. The mourner waits. When a person is nearing death, the mourner may appear. The appearance of the mourner often sends humans into hysterics, wondering how or if they will die. They only know that death is approaching. John, there's been multiple murders in your area! I'm fine, Mom. I have a baseball bat and locks. Are you gonna be okay? Yes. They'll get him. Some distract themselves, deciding that ignoring the mourner is the best course of action. After all, who knows what might be waiting for you. I heard the attacks have stopped. Are, are the police still gonna find out who did it? Whoever did it will be behind bars soon. You can relax now. Some are in denial, while others return to happy memories. John feared what might be waiting for him outside, but he never feared the mourner. After all, he knew it wasn't there for him. <laughs> Such pretty teeth. It was waiting for his next move. The Legend of the Mourner When a person is nearing death, the mourner may appear. Old, young, rich, poor. If death is approaching, so may the mourner. It's only been a few weeks since Mr. Freeman died. Are any of the kids going to show up to Ollie's birthday party? I'll bring Laura. It's been tough on the kids. I'm going to have to call you back. Ollie, did one of the kids at school give you this? Mr. Freeman did. What? Listen, this is just a story, and it was very inappropriate of Mr. Freeman to give you this. Has anyone ever seen it? Only the insane. Also, it's your bedtime. You have to be up early for the party tomorrow. The Mourner is little more than an urban legend to most, a silly story told on the playground. A figment in the imaginations of the old and the sick. Good night, Ollie. Good night, Dad. And happy birthday. But while some take stories of the Mourner with a grain of salt, you're not real. I hope those listening will take it to heart. Thank you to my Giving Flower patrons, Teity, Blended, Amy Dyer, Clover, Haley Martin, Riley, Evan McIntyre, Sad Trash Hole, Naisha L, Kuro Neko-san, Lucas Bot, Riot, Nick, Christine Gordon-Marie, Werewolf Poison, Ryan P, Alexis, Kaylee, and Alex Hook. If you'd like to help support me more, you can check out the Patreon in the link in my description. Thank you for watching.